Okay, so uh, this seems to be a very good question. A compressed spring is used to launch an object along a horizontal frictionless surface. Okay, fine. <clears throat> so technically, this object is not connected with the spring. They are two different bodies. One is a spring, another is the body. So we have compressed the spring. This is the mean position. We compressed the spring by x distance. And obviously, there is a force that this spring is applying on the body now which will be equal to f is equal to kx obviously when there is a force and when the body is at rest it will start accelerating due to the force and it will have it will attain some certain final velocity because of that acceleration now the question is when the spring is compressed through the distance x and released the object leaves the spring at the speed v Okay, that's the case number one now. <clears throat> if the spring is compressed with x, so the velocity gain is v. What is the distance through which the spring must be compressed for the object to leave the spring at v by 2? So now it is given in case number two that what should be the x dash? So now what should be the new compression? so as to have the velocity of v by 2 when the body um, separates itself from the spring. There are two equations now, two cases now. Fine. And the answer we can check, they are in the terms of x. So we need to find, we need to write equations for the case number 1 first. So case number 1 is, we will say that all the potential energy stored in the spring when it is compressed by x that will be half kx square that will get converted into uh, the kinetic energy so i can say half mv square so mass of the body is taken to be m and the velocity is v so every energy is converted into half mv square now so half cancels with half so i can say that v square is equal to or just keep it simple we're just keeping it simple like that. We can uh, find velocity out of it, but it's not required. Now, case number two is that if the compression is x dash, so our potential energy will be k x dash square. And I want it to be equal to half into m and the velocity will be v by 2 whole square. What will be the velocity? v by 2 because that is what our question wants us and we need to find the x dash in the terms of x so from here i can say that mv square by 4 because half will get cancelled with half so mv square by 4 is equal to k x dash whole square so this will become our second equation so now what we do is we just divide these two equations by each other so on comparing the two equations so I'm dividing 2 by 1 so it will be k x dash square divided by k x square this divided by this it will be equal to mv square by 4 divided by mv square okay this divided by this so mv square and mv square gets cancelled k and k gets cancelled so we have only 4 here now so x dash square will be equal to x square divided by 4. So x dash will be equal to x by 2. <clears throat> yeah, so our answer should be B. Uh, let me verify the answer. Answer is given here. Yeah, the answer is B as you can see. Uh, so answer is B. So this is how we do this uh, question. This is a very important question and I will say in the chapter of uh, work energy power, this becomes one of the most important question that you can ever try. So please don't leave this. Please don't ignore this question. Try to do this question twice or thrice. Even then, if you face any problem, please mention that in the comment section. All the best. Bye.